Today is September 29, 2016. Now this Shih Tzu belongs to a, the auntie who has this uh, kindness to, to help the poor in India. And uh, she's 85 years old, but she looks much like 60. And uh, although her sisters have dementia, she herself is in perfect mental health. And not only that, she had, she had uh, seen me many years ago, maybe 30 years ago, with a friend. And now her friend brings this dog to me again to, uh, to spay the dog and to do a, a bit of dental. This Shih Tzu, this is a tricolor Shih Tzu, around three years old. And it looks like there's a small umbilical hernia as well. So my assistant has clipboard first. Now the best, the shortest time to anesthesia is to pre prepare first, yeah. By sh by clipping board first, rather than give induction drugs and then start clipping board because then there were that will prolong anesthetic time, and of course the risk is higher when you prolong it. Now this Shih Tzu had uh, the heat three months ago, so so in theory it should be quite a bloodless operation since she had hit. Now I just had another auntie who came in. Her sister had a 10-year-old female Maltese and she showed me a picture of dirty brown pus from the vagina discharge. The other way had taken x-rays and uh, given antibiotics. And uh, the diagnosis I would say is uh, open pyometra, which is infection of the pus of the womb of, of the old, old female dog and the surgery will cost over a thousand dollars so it's wiser to get this uh, young female dog like this this one sterilized and and she keeps her healthier than then you don't don't sterilize her and let pyometra comes in and uh, of course there's uh, emotional worries about anesthetic risk and death and of course the cost will be much higher the risk is much higher now this uh, Shih Tzu is quite a, quite a nice, happy one, you can see, and uh, it's healthy, so I would expect no problem in uh, anesthesia. There's no blood test taken to save on money for the, for the Heartlanders, normally they don't, they want the cheapest, cheapest uh, surgery. So physical examination is what we normally do, although it's recommended there should be a pre anesthetic blood check. But uh, due to the cost, the need to lower cost for these uh, aunties, so I would say that uh, we will examine it, take the history, and uh, check the dog whether it's active or not. Now, the, the other thing is this auntie seems to have a one uh, special gate from the monk in Tibet. And one day she collapsed in the in the subway, and according to her, the the bracelet on her on her wrist said "Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up." So I was uh, a bit dubious, but uh, this jade bracelet could talk to wake her up. She swore that the two passerbys who came to help her heard heard the the voice as well, and uh, offered to pay her three hundred dollars to. to buy over the bracelet which of course she will sell because it came from the monk for which she is doing a Buddhism work so uh, it's one of those uh, stories whether you believe it or not